How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is going to be a best forwards from 100k to 200k, okay? This is as of December 6th. Uh, if you want more videos like this, let me know as well guys. If you can do other ranges, defensemen, let me know. Uh, I feel like it's, it's just good to do these type of videos. And I don't know, I, I don't want to always have my whole channel just be dedicated to packs and, and packs and packs. Listen, I know everybody loves packs. I mean, it does probably the best on my channel of other of any video, but I, I see other videos do well. Best goalies, you guys like that. So, I don't know. I want to definitely provide different content, gameplay. Uh, it's not all about packs, and I know uh, not everybody likes just watching packs. And I mean, I, I like playing the game more so than anything. But, uh, so, there's not that many cards for this range, but I'm going to tell you the ones that I think are the best. Like the top five i'd really say so all right this is again on xbox prices do vary a little bit on playstation but this is personally how i feel uh as of right now so here we go let's go to the main screen and uh we go to 100 to 200k and uh, the cards i'm seeing right now one thing i'm going to mention right now do not buy bronze icon cards i don't care i don't think you should ever buy a bronze icon card unless they're very very cheap but they're just it's just not worth it guys like, I'm sorry, Bobby Clark for 125k, like, listen, I know he's got decent sends, but I, I just don't think it's worth, I just don't think it's worth, there's so many better cards you can get for even that amount, like, 125k, you get, you know, you get a, just a bunch of different cards, you know, just better cards than Bobby Clark, Sundin's good, but again, there's just other cards you can get, so I'm gonna say what the best cards I personally think are in this range, and uh, we're gonna first off start with Eric Lindros, okay, guys? Uh, he's one of my favorite cards I've used so far this year. You can get it for about 125 to 130k, probably. We're on the same. I'm assuming on PlayStation, but uh, let's check out his card right here, guys. It's uh, super, super good. So here he is. He's got 80, 83 speed, but hey, what you can do is hit that howitzer button. Gets him the 86, then gets the 89 speed with distributor as well. Um, 91 slap shot power and 93 wrist shot power with that howitzer activated. Uh, he's got a great shot. I've been using him for a while on my actual team. And I really enjoyed this card a lot. 89 face-offs as well. He can win a lot of good, uh, you know, face-offs for you. Crucial ones uh, in the D-zone penalty kill situations. Um, I, I really enjoy this Eric Lindros card. Uh, he's just been one of my favorite cards so far that I've used. And I think in this range, I mean, he's a, honestly maybe the best, like, value, honestly. He's, like, just about over 100K, right? So that's super, super good. Um, now let's move on uh, to another one here. Uh, again, I'm going to make a point of this, guys. I'm not a fan of Ovechkin. Not a fan of Ovechkin in this, in this game yet. Uh, his speed is very noticeable. Way too slow. 88 speed of the distributor. Not a fan. Not a fan. We need an Ovi with, like, Howitzer or... Yeah, Howitzer probably is really what we need for Ovi or a Speedster. But, you know, right now, Ovi's not really a usable card in the game, right? So, uh, moving on to the next card here. And uh, we're going to look at the actual, the new team of the week, Anze Kobitar, right now. Uh, so he's going for about 130-ish K uh, right now, 125, 130, similar to Lindros. Uh, I had done a video just based on 100K to 130K, I guess, because a lot of these guys don't go for it that, that much, right? So uh, here we go. So Anze Kobitar, uh, Kobitar to me is uh, really one of the better ones as well, because Anze Kobitar has howitzer. That's the thing. Kobitar has howitzer. Give him the distributor, he gets a 90 speed. Uh, his shot is also super good. Similar to Lindros. Similar to Lindros. So, why is it similar to Lindros? 89 face-offs as well, right? But he's the howitzer. So, people ask me, like, oh, good cards that have howitzer. I mean, Kovatar and Lindros are very, very good ones, I'd say, uh, for howitzer. And they're very affordable. I mean, I know, like, not everybody has a million coins and all that stuff. But uh, I think Kovatar is a fantastic one. Um, he brings you good value. And, uh, I mean, I'm on my team as well. I mean... Guys, most of these cards I recommend to you, I've either tried or I just have played against a lot or I just I know if they're good, you know? Uh, Kobitar is up there. He's super, super good card. Super, super good card. So uh, I recommend Kobitar to you guys, absolutely. Uh, but and there's many reasons. It's his size, uh, his hands are good, his shot's good. A little bit better than Lindros, you could even argue. Honestly, you could argue it's a little bit better, better than Lindros, but uh, speed's a little bit uh, similar, similar. I, I very, very... I see Kobotar and Eric Lindros are a very, very similar card. They really are. One's lefty, one's righty. That's, pre that's pretty much a big difference. Um, all right. So let's check out some other ones here. Uh, not a fan. Uh, okay. Now, I'm a huge fan of this Braden Point card as well, okay? Braden Point 
has Howitzer. So, again, it's not really going to be a center. 78 face-offs, way too low. Give him Howitzer, though, boom. 90 shot across the board, pretty much. 90 slap shot accuracy. 91 slap shot power. 91 wrist shot accuracy. 91 wrist shot power. That's amazing. That's amazing. His skating's at 90 already. That's before you even activate the distributor. He's on the 93 speed. A perfect winger. You don't want this guy playing center, of course. He get crushed, number one, because he's 5'10", 166. Um... You know, you definitely don't want him playing in center. You just don't. Uh, but if you put him at a wing position, it's going to be really, really good. It really is. Uh, his stick checking is at 90. But these aren't, these aren't really important stats. He's not really playing defense for you. It is what it is. He's a winger. But uh, I love Braden Point's car. I think he's very, very good value. And uh, you can get him for about 120k, it looks like, as well. 128 is, is what I'm seeing. Yeah, 100, 120k. A little bit more of a rare car, though. It's a prime time. Prime time's a little bit harder to find. Uh, I mean, they, they do go extinct, for sure. So... Again, icons, let's not, let's not even bother looking at icons. I don't really consider being um, a real thing. This Shifley's not good at all, guys, because his, uh, his synergy is brutal. Do not look at Shifley. Um, even, even the Ico, I'm not a fan of. His synergy is very, very bad. All right. And then, uh, don't like Kane at all. I do not like Kane at all. Other than with a synergy, it's not really amazing. Now, okay. I personally think this 88 Hall, you can get it for under 200k. That's absolutely amazing. With Swarm, Swarm's a pretty good synergy as well. Uh, people have been using Swarm a lot. People are trying to get Swarm activated. Hall is actually a great, great option. Uh, 95 Agility, 95 Hand Eye. Uh, you know, that's these are solid things with Swarm. And if you get him distributed, he's got 95 speed. I'm actually using Hall as well. Amazing card. Uh, I've truly enjoyed using Hall. I've used Hall's 85, I've used 86, I've used 88. I've used every Hall card that's come out so far this year. And uh, noticeably, this this card is a lot better than the 86 as well. Um, but the 86 is a lot better than the 85 too. So, I mean, it's all it depends, you know, who you ask and how you're feeling, I guess. But I love this Hall card. Hall's really, really good in game. I feel like Hall's good every year in game. He's always very, very fast out there. Um, but yeah, he's he's going for uh, you know under under 200k it looks like 199 or just about 200, 187 actually, even better, even better for this uh, Taylor Hall, even better. That's super, super good. All right, that's all. Uh, and then moving on to the next card. Uh, to me, the best, honestly, the best one for this value overall. To me, 87 overall, Austin Matthews, okay? Uh, so he's about 160-ish K. Uh, I did the set, and I got very lucky that I pulled him. Uh, to me, it's the best Matthews card out. I know he's an 89 out. I do not like that card. His synergies are brutal. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, this card is faster with Distributor activated, activated and Speedster. Um, he's better. I mean, the 87 Matthews is better than the 89. Yeah, I shot a little bit worse, but just the speed's really the important thing in my eyes. I mean, listen, his 89, you know, 90 shot, the one-timers are going to go in, you know, just as much as the 89. You know, it's not that much of a difference. There was like a 94 Matthews. Of course, it's different, right? But then his speed would be higher. But to me, you want the 87 Matthews over the 89. It's, it's really, it's cool, 89 overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the synergy is brutal. It's, it's a rare card, and it's going to be expensive for no reason. Uh, I don't know. I wait for a Matthews that's not, you know, not much of an upgrade, right? Matthews is amazing. Uh, I think it's the best card of them all. 87 overall. Speedster, 91 speed. 92 wrist shot power. Uh, personally, this is the best card you can get, I think, for forwards in the uh, 100 to 200k range. I don't know. His face off, you can't use him at center, but that's okay. Perfect winger. Perfect winger. Similar to Braden Point. You don't really need him to always play center, okay? All right, so that's on uh, with that. Uh, I'm going to go for some honorable mentions, okay? So... Uh, we're gonna look at some honorable mentions, and honestly, guys, I like Panarin. I mean, Panarin's a good card as well. Uh, just another one to mention, I don't like Icos because of his sin. Uh, sins are a big deal to me. Uh, and, and actually, look at this, Blake Wheeler, an MSP, uh, a Gladiator and Barrage. Actually, not too bad. If, if you're able to activate both of those, it's not easy, don't get me wrong, it's not easy to activate both of those, but some 99 slap shot power, which is super, super good, but I don't know. I mean, this is more of a, a player that I, I wouldn't really think is like a necessary card to get. Uh, but it's, it's actually pretty cheap. Cheaper than I thought it'd be, honestly. Very, very cheap. All, a lot of MSPs are going down because a lot of great cards are coming out now, right? So, uh, but but that's not really one of my honorable mentions. Really, the other honorable mention was, was going to be definitely Artemi Panarin A6 overall edition. Okay, so it's about 120k or 122k. is the cheapest up currently on Xbox. He's 5'11", uh, 168. He's got Howitzer. Give him Howitzer activated, plus distributor, 94 speed, a very, very fast, speedy winger, um, great shot as well. Uh, I mean, all you Rangers fans, I know you'll love him. 
And uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's a great card. I used Panarin's 84 for quite some time as well. I liked it. I liked Panarin. Again, it's a little different this year. I mean, you could kind of just have speedy wingers. You don't really need to have, you know, 6'5 players. That have, well, first of all, they don't really exist. 6'5, 99 speed players don't really aren't a common thing. But I personally like uh, Panarin a lot uh, in this game. I don't know. He's, he's been good this year. For, for me, I mean, I tried his 84. I can only imagine his 86 is very good, especially with how it's reactivated. Um, yeah, I like Panarin a lot. So check out some uh, other few cards here. Um, Kateri is awful. Brutal sin. Uh, you might as well try to get the 91 at that point. I know he's got good face-offs. Yeah, because of his thief, but it's a very meh card. 84 speed. Yeah, I guess it's a sugar 87. I don't really uh, find it to be very, uh, you know, interesting or intriguing to, to use. I'll say that. And most of, the other, most, most of these other cards, I mean, McDavid's not bad. Don't get me wrong, but uh, Sin's not really anything crazy. Thief, like, yeah, it's cool, but it doesn't really matter. Like, Thief's brutal. You might as well try to get the 89 McDavid is what I would say. There's really no point of even getting that McDavid. I know he's 200k, yeah, but I just don't like, I don't even think it's worth it. I just don't. I really, really don't. Uh, anyone else here that I could really say I, that I like? Not really. Not really. I mean, Tavares is not bad. He's not bad, but I, I don't know. I mean, he's a player that, again, with speed, such an issue with Tavares every year. Uh, he's just always slow. I feel like Tavares, he could have 99 speed in this game, and he'd actually still feel like he has 80 speed. I don't know why, but maybe I'm just crazy. That That's actually how he feels, no joke. Um, Pasternak's pretty good as well. I mean, Pasternak's not bad. Dazi's not that, not that expensive. McDonald. I mean, there, there's some good ones, but... And the ones I talked about so far are my favorite ones, for sure. I mean, Pasternak's not brutal, but... I mean, if, if you really have just about 100k in the money, it'd be probably a good one. Probably, yeah, he's even less than 100k. See, that's not really a part of the video. Let's not, let's not change things up. Apostle's a good card. I mean, regardless, you got Howitzer. He's a good card. I feel like I don't use people, see people use Posternock though that often, which is interesting. So I'm not really sure what the reasoning is for that, but uh, that's Posternock. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, maybe the last card I'd mention is, is uh, I don't even think there's really anyone else. I mean, there's really not anyone else that I'd really be like, wow, they're amazing. You gotta, you gotta look at them for this range. I don't really see anyone. I mean, Savard's not brutal, I guess. I mean, he's got distributor that's cool but i mean another one it's just not not amazing i feel like it's, it's a little overpriced i mean he's a good car but you know i'm not i'm not going jumping up and down for that one all right whatever sum up this video though guys my favorite cards you know the best, best ones to me are the eric lindros uh the Anze kobitar uh the, the matthews of course Th those are the top three in my eyes at least you, know, you, you could argue the you know the panarin the point those are similar uh but for me those are my top three lindros uh, we got Lindros, Matthews, and Kobotar. Alright, so that's pretty much, it, go. pretty much it though, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you watching, as always, guys. Let me know if you want more of these in the future. Uh, let me know. I want to try to, you know, change things up a little bit. Can't always just be packs, packs, packs. Uh, but also, you know, let me know. Defenseman next? Defenseman for 100 to 200k? I'm down. I'm down. I can do this literally tomorrow. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe. If you're new to the channel here, follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Henrik with three E's. Join the Discord. Talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Use the code Henrik for G Fuel, 30% off. If you enjoyed this video, if you made it all the way to the end through, let me know in the comment section down below. I appreciate you a lot for watching the whole way through. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.